Okay, so making yourselves comfortable on your mats and doing any, whatever kind of movement your body needs to get settled. Just sometimes it's hard to come into your body after a day of being busy with things that pull you out of your body. So lying down and just taking a few moments to just let any organic movements happen. Take a couple big, long, slow breaths and feel yourself stretching into the lower lobes of your lungs, maybe for the first time today. It might take a couple rounds of slow, deep breaths to feel like you have the full lung capacity. <sighs> Gentle movements of the head. Open and close your jaw a few times, maybe yawn. And then just tune into the sensation of lying down on the floor. Just no cushy pillows, no soft mattress top, but a really firm and reliable biofeedback mechanism, the floor as your apparatus for tuning into your spinal alignment, helping your body remember what it feels like to have good posture. Gravity is helping you with that. Feeling the, the places where your body is touching the floor, the back of the head, back of the shoulders, the length of your spine, back of the pelvis, back of the hands, backs of your thighs, the heels, Start to deepen that breath a little more so that you've got a rhythm going. It's not an effortful rhythm at first. We're just tuning in to the circular or cyclical or wave-like breath or the inhales and exhales dissolve into one another. As the exhale fades out, the inhale fades in all the way to the top of the breath. And then fading that and out as you exhale. Inhale, fading it in. Breathing into the back of the body. And really, we're, we're pretty front body centered. We're, we lead with the front of our body. We move through space first with the front of our body and we forget about breathing into the back of the lungs, the back of the rib cage, your kidneys, the back of the pelvis. Let yourself occupy your torso in 365 degrees. And letting the breath drop a little lower into it's filling in your diaphragm in the middle of your torso. You can take a hand there if that helps.
I'm just imagining, picturing inside of your body the the lungs and the diaphragm. As the lungs inflate, the diaphragm widens and lowers and sort of flattens out. Create space for the lungs to breathe and full, fill up with air. And then when you exhale, the diaphragm domes up into the torso. When you inhale, it widens, lowers, and flattens out. And when you exhale, it domes up, sort of like a jellyfish floating and propelling itself through the water. Start to cultivate a sense, that sensation of how graceful a jellyfish moves through the water and then apply that to the way that you're breathing. Keep that diaphragmatic jellyfish working and bring your awareness a little lower to the belly. You might take a hand there. Maybe one hand stays in the diaphragm, the other goes to the belly. Let your belly rise, let the hand rise when you inhale. And fall when you exhale. Rise the belly as you inhale. Breathe back into the floor through the kidneys even. And fall in with the exhale. And this magical thing is starting to happen inside of your whole torso from the top of your lungs all the way to the base of the pelvic floor as your lungs fill with air and the diaphragm fram widens and lowers all the organs in the abdomen lower as well and there's a mirroring that the pelvic floor does to match the diaphragm so you might even begin to imagine the base of your pelvis like another jellyfish When you inhale, it widens and flattens to create space for all the organs to shift down into the pelvis. And then when you exhale, it domes up slightly, matching the diaphragm as it domes up on the exhale. Now imagining all the organs in your abdomen and in your pelvis having mobility and being slightly massaged by this nice, full, deep breath that you're doing. Start to feel the energy flow through the pelvis down into the legs. And you might start to feel your whole body dancing and breathing. This very subtle, almost energetic sensation. For the first time today, maybe, you're feeling fully embodied. Tacitly aware of all of your body. Using the sensation of just the breath. When you inhale, there's this downward energy. 
And when you exhale, there's a slight upward energy. Start to play with that, that looping, inhaling, feel the energy slide down the back of your body. And then as you exhale, feel it travel up the front of your body. Inhale down the back of the body. And exhale up the front of the body. Let all your faculties come online here, your imagination, the felt sense. A visualization even, whatever helps you stay here, present in your experience. My only directive for you through the whole course of this class together is that you do your best to move and be in transition between postures in a way that allows you to stay aware of this subtle energetic movement inside of you. As you're ready to bend the knees and let the soles of the feet come to the floor and just let your knees drop in toward one another. Start to invite some gentle movement with the head, letting the head drop to one side as you inhale. Take the whole length of your inhale to let it fall. And then draw the nose back to center as you exhale. Go slow so you feel this Nice, heavy weightedness in the head. Inhaling, dropping the head to the other side. Exhale, bringing it back up. Moving so slow that you have the same subtle awareness of that rising and falling of the energy of the body as you move your head. And the next time your nose comes to center, just still your still that movement. Stay here neutral with the head. Inhale, let the knees both fall to the right. Entire length of the inhale to drop the knees. Exhale, bring the knees back to center. And then inhale, knees to the left. And exhale, knees to center. Mm -hmm. Got all the time in the world, inhaling to the right. Big full belly and exhale, bring it back to center. Energy moving up the front of the body. Inhale. To the left, energy moving down the back of the body. Exhale to center, 
Energy moving up the front of the body. Keep going with the legs, add in the head. Inhale the knees to the right, head to the left. Exhale to center. Keep going with your own breath rhythm, feeling that really grounded, heavy rolling across the back of the head and the back of the pelvis. Keeping that same jellyfish-like movement as you start to move in more gross ways with these big limbs. The next time you inhale your knees to the right, just leave them there. Take a big full round of breath. Breathing especially down in through the inner left leg, inner left inner pelvic floor. You're sort of relaxing and releasing anything down there. It might feel really good also to take your left hand and just Massage along the inside edge of your pelvis and up into the belly. Encouraging any abdominal tension, or pelvic tension to start to get permission to let go. Take one more big, full round of breath. Fully exhale. Let the little abdominal strength inhale, draw the nose and the knees back up to center. And then exhale, let the knees fall to the left, let the head fall to the right. And take a nice big full breath in here. Letting your legs settle, taking your right hand now to the, the inner right side of your pelvis, that iliacus, the, the bone that's protruding towards the ceiling, rub, rubbing and massaging and opening up just inside of it, feeling the energy drop down through the right side of your pelvic floor, through the inner right thigh. Maybe even rubbing up into the abdomen. You don't have to go uh, that deep. Your hands just there, almost like, like a mothering hand, just giving your body a little bit more permission to let go, to release. And one more deep breath in. A little abdominal engagement on the next inhale, bring the knees and the head back to neutral. 
drop the knees in toward one another and just rest, pause, take a cleansing breath. If your arms are next to your hips now, bend your elbows so the hands raise up and then imagine you're holding a beach ball between your hands so the palms are facing one another. Beach ball is positioned just above your diaphragm. Yeah. And on the next inhale, you're gonna press that beach ball towards the ceiling. Keep inhaling and Release it up and over the head, just to the first edge of your shoulder mobility. And then exhale, bring it back to center. Keep it in the air. Inhale, reaching it overhead. Pay attention to your low floating ribs. Keep them connected with the earth. Open your armpits. And bring it back to center. Good. Now push that beach ball towards the ceiling a little further so the heads of your shoulders release off the floor. Stretch, stretch, stretch as you take it overhead. Reach, reach, reach. Big full inhale. Belly inflates, exhale, bring it back to center. And then sink your shoulders towards the ground. Press the heads of the shoulders into the ground, the bottom of that exhale. And then inhale, reach the beach ball towards the ceiling. Keep inhaling, reaching, 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 stretching it overhead. Reach, reach, reach it, reach it as far as you can away from you. And exhale, bring it back to center. And then imagine it's made of lead. It gets really heavy. The heads of the shoulders sink into the mat. And then press, 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 retracting your shoulder blades underneath you. And then inhale, protract the shoulders, press the beach ball towards the ceiling, spread between the shoulder blades, inhaling overhead. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale, bringing it back to center. And then heavy, 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 pressing down into the floor, retract your shoulder blades, squeeze them together. Good, and then release. Bend your elbows, bring them back down to the mat. So your hands are holding the beach ball closer to your body now. Mm -hmm. Take a nice big breath in here. Now engage your arms so that you feel you feel your whole arm from the elbow to the shoulder pressing into the ground. We've got a nice broad space across the collarbones. And you're just gonna maintain this, this activation in the upper body. Now bring awareness to your legs and step your feet so that they're as wide as your hips. So maybe bring them in a little bit and balance your knees directly above your ankles. So we've got hip, knee, ankle alignment. Yeah. On the next inhale, press into your feet, lift your pelvis off the mat, roll up one vertebra at a time. And just come up like a third of the way. And then slowly roll down one vertebra at a time. You're gonna feel your deep abdominal muscles engaging. Roll all the way to the tailbone. Good. Inhale, rolling up. 
feel the energy traveling down the back of your body as you inhale. Exhale, roll one vertebra down at a time, feeling the energy traveling up the front of the body. That's a lot to do with your mind. Just be patient with yourself, inhaling up. Energy down the back body. Exhaling down, energy up the front body. Move on your own for two or three more rounds. As mindfully and slowly as your breath allows. Feel the weight of each individual vertebra. If you can bring one more piece of biofeedback into your awareness, let it be that. Being really present with the parts of your body where there's usually pain and just reassuring with this very slow, gentle movement that this is safe. This is safe. We can move without pain, even if you're feeling like you're faking it. Your nervous system messaging is stronger and more powerful than what we get into these pain loops sometimes where it's just a habit. Don't move into extreme pain. You want to keep yourself feeling grounded and safe. Last one. Coming up as high as it feels good and staying lifted. Once you get up there. And then if it's available to you, come even higher onto the toes. And now you'll feel the posterior line, your calves, your hamstrings, your deep pelvic floor muscles engaging. And I want you to stay lifted until you feel like you can't anymore. Feel your glutes engage. Feel the heads of the shoulders and the arms and the elbows pressing into the mat to stabilize. Your head is relaxed, your neck is, re is free. Stay lifted, keep breathing, that rhythmic breath, inhaling down the back body. Exhaling up the front body. It's okay if the legs start to wobble. Stay lifted, stay lifted. Stay lifted. Lift a little higher on the toes. And as your body starts to fatigue, charge yourself back up by breathing bigger and fuller. Keep your head relaxed. Try not to press your head into the mat. See if you can take two more big charge, strong charge breaths. Last one. And then slowly lower down. Relax your arms off to the side. Bring your feet close together so the ankles touch. 
and we're going to slowly butterfly the, the legs like wings inhale let the knees fall open exhale draw them back up take the entire length of your breath move slow let your breath be as powerful as you need it to be breathe even bigger and deeper than you might think you need to and the purpose of that is to increase prana to increase the energetic flow to can increase circulation of the blood hyper oxygenating the blood big breaths in and out through the mouth even Notice those those parts of the movement where there's there's um there's a tremoring where your legs get jumpy. Where there's like a a skip in the fluidity of your movement. It could be low down or it could be up kind of closer together and wherever you find it i want you to pause there and let the legs tremor almost encourage this deep bouncing tremoring activity in the legs you might feel it way deep down in your pelvis even now start to cycle your breath powerfully in and out through the mouth inhale down the back body Exhale up the front body. Let the legs tremor. What's happening here is deep tension, deep systemic tension, deep core tension is releasing itself out of your system in this tremoring. And if you haven't found that spot where they tremor yet, just keep looking, keep looking, keep feeling. You'll find it. Big powerful breaths in and down the back body. out up the front body let the tremoring become bigger if it wants to it can be so subtle that it's just a little subtle vibration down in your sacrum tune your awareness into it and allow that involuntary shaking to have permission to express itself this is called tremoring or trauma releasing exercises we end up with systemic trauma in the pelvis just from sitting just from holding tension all day from stress this is a beautiful opportunity to let some of that out of your body here so don't worry about what it looks like let let the tremoring happen this is a, a very intelligent animal response to stress in fact animals do it in the wild when they're being um being tagged by biologists for example there's a there's a polar bear running being chased by biologists and they 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 shoot him with a dart and he goes down and passes out and when he wakes back up his body has still has the that unfinished business somatically and in 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 the endocrine system like the stress hormones are still there and it'll lay there and tremor for a bit keep your breath full and big and then it'll release the the energy will release and it will take some slow deep breaths and then it'll stand up and walk away without a trauma response held in the body it's an incredible system that we have as humans as well but we override it a lot of the time So just give yourself full permission to let that shake out any kind of releasing that needs to happen welcome it it might feel good to make sound on your exhales you might feel emotions rise everything's welcome here big deep breath in down the back body Exhaling up the front body. <sighs> we'll take three more breaths like that. Whew. 
Last one. Good. Bring your hands to rest on your belly. Bring the knees together and let the feet step wide so that you rest the knees in. Take some nice, slow, easy, nurturing breaths here. Just pausing and feeling the energy moving in your body. And then slowly stretch the legs out long. And start to wiggle and wobble the legs in the pelvis. Dissipating any of that energetic stagnation. Imagine you have little faucets on the soles of your feet. Open them up and let that energy drain right out of your legs. Wiggle the hips side to side. Let the legs wobble. Let the feet woggle, wobble back and forth. Tap the knees. You might shake up into the chest and the arms as well. Whatever your body wants to do here to release any of that charge. Keep breathing big and full. And then stretch your arms overhead and reach the whole body long. Big, full breath. And then exhale, draw your knees into your chest. Brace your legs. And just rock a little side to side. Keep your right knee drawn in, interlace your fingers on the front of that right shin and extend your left leg long. Dorsal flex your foot like you're standing on the wall, pressing your heel into it, reaching open that psoas on the left and draw that right knee in just a little bit wide of your rib cage. Take a big full breath here. Breathe into your belly, feel your belly press against your right thigh. And down the back body, exhale up the front body. And down the back body, big inhale. Receive breath in your belly, exhale up the front body. Good, inhale, bring your left knee in. Clasp your hands in the front of the left shin and extend your right leg long. And reaching through that right heel towards an invisible wall, drawing the left knee close. Big inhale down the back body, fill your belly with breath, feel your belly press into your thigh, let your organs adjust and move. Exhale up the front body. Soften the muscles around your eyes. Inhale down the back body, reaching for the heel. Exhale up the front body. Beautiful. Next inhale, bring that right knee in. Take one hand on the front um, of each knee on the kneecap and start to circle your knees apart on the inhale and draw them together on the exhale. Doesn't matter which direction you're circling, we'll switch in a moment. Inhale and exhale. Feel the heaviness of the leg, dropping the femur back into the back of the pelvis. 
imagine that the head of the femur is massaging the deeply into that socket. And then switch the direction in the circles. Inhale down, inhaling down the back body, exhaling up the front body. And then bring the knees to rest once they're together. Keep your left knee just as it is and then stretch your right heel towards the ceiling and open up the back of the knee, waking up the hamstring. And then reach both hands onto the back of that leg and just massage and squeeze up the back of the leg. Okay, if your knee needs to bend, massaging your hamstring, your quad, all around the knee, and even up into the lower leg, up the calf, the shin. Whatever you can reach, it's fine if you need to bend your knee to get up there. Left knee is just bent, hanging out. And then start to make sweeping motions with your hands. Inhaling, hands up the leg. Exhaling, back down towards the hip. Both hands inhaling up, smoothing saying hello, saying thank you. One more breath. Let the right knee bend. And extend the left leg. Reaching up through that heel, stretching, opening, yawning, open the back of the knee. And then reaching with your hands to massage up the back of that leg into the hamstrings squeezing and pulling the muscles even the quads even the front of the leg give your knee some love the front and the back of the knee thank you And up into the calf and the shin. It's okay if you need to bend your knee to reach. Give it a good squeeze. Use your thumbs. Yeah, good. And then we'll sweep the hands up the leg on the inhale towards the foot. Exhale back down towards the pelvis. Three breaths like that. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Up. Exhale down. Good. Now extend both legs up again. Make some circles with your ankles. Arms are just relaxed down by your sides. Palms up. Circle the other direction. Spread your toes wide. Draw them back towards your face. Reach through the heels. And then make a foot fist and point. Spread your toes wide and flex the toes back towards your face. And then make a foot fist and point. Good. And then do an in-between floint. 
And then extend your hands up towards your toes. Take a big breath in. Find your right hand and your left leg. And then on the next inhale, you're gonna extend them away from each other towards the floor, just like we did before with that beach ball, reaching out through the arm, reaching through the heel, reach, 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 reach as you extend. Exhale, bring them back up to center. And then switch left hand, right leg. Inhale, reach up and out and away. Exhale, back to center. And switch, inhale. Just fine if you need to bend that knee a little, if your hamstring's not quite warmed up enough for a straight leg, doesn't matter. Exhale, as long as you're reaching back to center. Inhale, this bilateral movement's really good for our brain. Getting the left and the right hemispheres to connect and communicate. Find a breath rhythm, inhaling away. Energy down the back body. Exhaling to the midline, energy up the front body. Inhale away, energy down the back body. Exhale up, energy up the front body. Good. Two more on your own. Let this be meditative. One more round. And then when you're done, draw your knees back in, embrace your legs. And then let your left foot come to the mat. Bend your right knee and reach for the, for the foot. If you can't grab your foot, you can grab your ankle or even your shin. But if you can grab your foot, reach from the inside of the knee to the outside of the foot. So you've got a nice aligned ankle. Mm -hmm. And as you breathe here, fill your belly with breath. Let that knee fall wide of the rib cage and open, 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 letting the knee drop towards the floor, bending your elbow if you need to. And if you're feeling extra flexible, you can stretch your left leg long and lay it, lay it down on the floor. If that causes any pain in your body, just keep it bent. Take a deep breath. And a deep exhale. Find stillness and see what you can, what muscular efforting that you're doing that you can release. Relax your jaw, soften all the muscles around your eyes. Feel for the sensation of the the breathing diaphragm and the pelvic floor diaphragm like jellyfish, widening and lowering on the inhale. And doming up on the exhale. Good, one more big breath here. Slowly pull your left leg in, release your right leg back, set the right foot on the mat, and then reach up for your, your outer left foot. If you can't reach that, just grab onto your ankle. You can do this with both hands even. Mm -hmm. And let that knee sink a little bit wide of your rib cage and drawing. Drawing, drawing it down to the floor. Just staying here perhaps, or if you're feeling a little more flexible, you can extend your right leg long. Good. 
And then take a nice big full breath in. And on your exhale, let go of any muscles that don't need to be activated. Feel for the jellyfish-like movement of your breathing and pelvic floor diaphragms here. And one more deep breath. And exhale. Bottom of that exhale, bring the right leg back in if it was extended and slowly release the left leg to meet the right. And let the knees drop in toward one another, just briefly pausing. And then notice if your body is craving any movement, it might feel good to let the knees fall side to side a little bit with your breath. It might feel good to pull the knees into the chest. It might feel good to stretch the whole body long. So a couple breaths of organic movement here, whatever feels right to you. In a moment, we'll transition onto the hands and knees. And to do so, I'll just ask you to roll over to one side and pause for a moment. When you press yourself up, do so slowly. keeping your head and neck soft, making your way onto all fours. You can even keep your eyes closed. Position the hands under the shoulders and the knees under the pelvis, shoulder and hip width apart. And just find a solid structure at first. Mm -hmm. And we'll begin just with articulation in the pelvis. Imagining you had an animal tail, letting your pelvis articulate to lift the tail on the inhale, an anterior tilt, and tuck the tail on the exhale, posterior tilt. Feel for the way that the, the stable structure of the heads of the femurs creates a deep internal massage inside of your hip sockets as your pelvis rotates around them. Yeah, and let that movement get a little bit bigger. So coming up through the spine on the inhale. The rib cage starts to move. Initiation happens at the tailbone and the spine rolls to finish the movement up to the crown of the head. Inhaling and exhaling slowly. It's similar to a cat cow, but pelvis leading, pelvis initiating the movement. Good. 
The next time you come to exhale, you're gonna sink your hips back towards your heels, sort of in a child's pose. And then you'll inhale, roll yourself forward into the cow. Exhale, cat, sink your hips back towards your heels. You don't have to come all the way to the floor if you don't want to. Inhale, rolling the spine, opening the belly, lifting the gaze to the wall ahead of you. Exhale, round the spine, sink the hips back to the heels. Go nice and slow, inhaling, feel the energy. Move down the back body, exhaling up the front body. Inhaling. Two more like this. And exhaling. And then once you uh, settle back into that child's pose, go ahead and sink in. Rocking side to side slightly, perhaps. Rolling your forehead across the floor. Feeling this nice compression across the front of the pelvis. And spaciousness in the low back and sacrum, hopefully. And then roll yourself back up, tuck your toes. Mm -hmm. And take your hands a palm print forward. And we're gonna come into a bent knee downward dog. And just yawn. Again, yawning the backs of the legs open slowly. First time really putting any weight in the arms. So stabilizing your shoulder girdle, really pressing the hands wide and out. So the finger mounds are taking most of the weight, not necessarily the heel of the hand. Inhale, lift onto the toes. And then exhale, sink, bend the knees. Inhale, lift high. Open the backs of the legs. You might even lean forward into the shoulders a little. And then exhale, sink the heels, bend the knees. Inhaling, lifting. Exhaling, bending and sinking. This time, inhale, lift. Roll your spine forward into a plank. And then exhale, up and back. Bend the knees. Three of these, inhale, lift high into the toes, roll your spine forward into plank. And then exhale, roll back, bend the knees. And one more time. Exhale. Bend the knees and come down to the knees. Step your right leg forward. And then get a nice long lunge so that you, you maybe even walk your back knee back a little bit. Right knee, right hand, big connection. And the left hand, we're just kind of leaning over. And we're going to make circles in the hip. If you're feeling pressure in that back knee, you can lift the knee off the mat a little bit, or you can double your mat. Mm -hmm. So the knee is kind of rolling out to the side a little, but the circle's happening kind of deep in your hip socket. We're just kind of working out 
in these strange directions, getting a little bit of synovial fluid moving in the hip socket. Go the other direction with your circles. Yeah, good. And then on the next inhale, press into your right hand and roll your chest open towards your thigh. And then exhale back to neutral. And inhale, roll open. Maybe even looking over your right shoulder and exhale back to neutral. Inhale, rolling open. Exhale back to neutral. And bring your hands back to the mat. Draw your hips back in space a little. We're gonna say hello to this hamstring again. Yeah, the toes can come off the mat. Draw your toes back towards your face. Your hands can come back as far as you need them to. We won't be here on the knees too long. And then just tick-tock your whole leg side to side. Mm hmm Good. I'm going to come back forward a little bit so that you can turn the right knee back and then stuff the left leg forward. Spin around so you can see. Good. Left hand to the left knee. And circles to the hips here. slow breath switch the direction of the circle uh -huh. yeah and then find neutral press the left hand into the left knee and inhale open the chest to the Face the knee and then exhale, rotate back towards the floor. Inhale, rotate. Maybe you can look over the shoulder. Exhale towards the floor. Inhale, open. Exhale back towards the floor. Good. And then we'll walk our weight back. You might need to scooch that leg forward to get that length. You want to have um, a vertical right femur, if you can. And then dorsal flex your left toes back towards your face and tick-tock your leg side to side. Bring that leg back. And then um, some, some form of kneeling here, whether you're sitting on your legs like this or like this or on a block, totally. Now you can sit right up on a block. I'm just gonna finish with a little bit of spinal movement. My head's out of the frame, but it's not that important. We won't be here for too long. And from here, start to tilt the pelvis and let your spine go with, and then draw the tailbone under and the spine follows. Just like we were doing a cat cow, except upright. 
Inhale, exhale. Mm -hmm. Going slow enough that you can feel the articulation of the vertebra. As much as you can, tune into that. Spin around, come back onto your back. Mm -hmm. Stretch your whole body long, reach out through the arms, out through the legs. Keep reaching, reaching, reaching. And then exhale, just settle. Your arms can be overhead, they, they can rest down by your pelvis, it doesn't matter. Take up some space here, however you're lying, and reconnect with that posterior back body. Reconnect with the, the cyclical movement of the energy in the breath in down the back body, up the front body on the exhale. And tune in to see if your body wants any final movement. If there's anything your body's craving. Some suggestions might be a twist on each side. Plow pose or shoulder stand might feel really good. Let your focus be inward um, on the movement of energy and let, let your movement satisfy how the energy wants to move. We've created a deep relationship with that over the course of the last hour. Is there anything that would feel like it would complete this for you? It might just be the lie here. <sighs> and as class is winding down, notice if your mind's jumping to what's next. Just really honor your intention in coming, taking care of your body, taking care of your mind, and stay present with the sensations you're feeling inside of your skin. And tune into what feels good. Tune into the, the way the energy is moving in your body that feels like it's flowing and it's free and it's easy. After an hour of long, deep, slow, rhythmic breathing, you might notice that it feels really good to take deep breaths. The lungs have stretched out.
And if you're still moving, just come to stillness, finishing up in the next breath or two. lying here as long as you like and if it's time for you to rise begin to do so slowly and mindfully taking your time honoring this the delicious state you've cultivated in your body and your nervous system thank you so much for joining me namaste my pleasure